The Stirling engines I have built so far are too complex for energy self-sufficiency and therefore too expensive and maintenance intensive. I would now like to extensively investigate which engine concept would be best for my next project. The thermal lag engine represents a mechanical simplification of common Stirling engines. It uses only a single piston which avoids a complex linkage mechanism. The piston is located in a cool volume which makes sealing much more easy and increases endurance properties. The thermal lag engine is still a relatively new invention which has not been researched much and offers a lot of potential for improvement. The thermal lag engine was patented in 1995 by Peter Taylor. It consists of a hot space where the heat is supplied to power the engine and a cooled cylinder in which the piston moves. The piston acts both like the displacer and power piston and the heat transfer delay time together with the piston motion separates the different processes in time. The simplest forms for TLE consists only of a cooled cylinder containing a piston, a hot space with a large heat transfer capacity and a working fluid in the engine volume undergoing compression and expansion by the, mo by the movement of the piston. The single piston in the cooled part of the engine simplifies sealing and endurance characteristics. The simple linkage mechanism causes little friction and can be built very small, which makes any pressure charging much more easy. The hot heat exchanger typically has a much smaller diameter than the cooler and is therefore much cheaper and easier to build. In contrast, thermal lag engines are still in the research and development phase and have not yet been applied in praxis. There are only a small number of studies relevant to the TLE reported. Fundamental knowledge investigation of the TLE is lacking and the physical understanding is insufficient. Colin D. West and Peter Taylor claim that the main effect of the TLE is the bulk motion of the fluid from the hot to the cold space and back, which leads to the heat transfer that drives the engine. Alan Organ explains the engine from a completely different perspective. He identified the connecting space between the hot and cold spaces of the TLE as a pulse tube. Further analysis revealed that both theories are not explicit contradictory, but represent different implementations of the same effect. To improve engine performance, the driving phenomena needs to be fully understood. Numerical models have been shown that the pressure volume diagram is much narrower than that of a traditional Stirling engine. The TLE thus has a relatively poor efficiency and thermodynamic performance. To increase the efficiency, the design of the engine, based on fundamental knowledge and physical insight, becomes more essential. Different approaches, such as the analytical method, the thermodynamic model, computational fluid dynamics and even a neural network and generic algorithm were used to calculate optimal performance and efficiency. Nevertheless, the most powerful TLEs known to me only have a maximum output of 25 to 45 watts. The complex interrelationships of operating principle do not make the design easy. In addition, the design of the heat exchangers is not conductive to intuitive development, making experimental optimization difficult. There is still a lot of room for performance improvements here, but the still very unexplored optimization methods make a promising development difficult. The thermal lag engine offers many simplifications and advantages, but for me the potential for a self-build is difficult to assess and therefore I don't think the TLE would be a good choice. What do you think about the thermal lag engine? Please let me know and write it 
in the comments. Thanks for watching.